So today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make your content less AI and basically a little bit more of a human touch. Now, what you will need for this video is ChatGBT and you will need access to YouTube and you will obviously need access to this sheet. Um, this sheet is completely free. Um, it's called the Article Builder. The link is in the description if you've not already got it. Um, but this is kind of like a, a bolt on to what I've shown in previous videos. This is kind of like if you actually want to make your content just that little bit better, um, add that little bit of personality to it, this is what I would recommend, right? Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store if you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. If you've not already got the sheet, the link's in the description. Click on file and then make a copy so you've actually got a copy for yourself a lot of people don't do that make certain you do that um, otherwise you're not able to actually edit the actual sheet and stuff right but what this sheet does is we've obviously got the cheat sheet so you've got all the different types of articles and um, so you've got the article scope um, or the article styles should i say so um, if it's informational a how to a listicle product review faq news ultimate guide service article right so that's the, all the types we've also got like examples here so if you wanted to create an article on what is cloud computing for example you would go after an informational article um, you've got the end goal as well so like what do you want the person to actually take action on do you want them to sign up to a newsletter do you want them to um, fill out a contact form. Do you want them to subscribe to to your um, newsletter, etc.? You've also got the tonality as well, so informational, con conversational, authoritative, persuasive, etc., etc. Take a look at this. Once you actually see it, everything has like use cases and examples. You'll very quickly realize, right? Okay, I want a humorous article for a service-based um, page, and. Um, I want people to actually take action on, I don't know, requesting a, quote, a free quote, for example, right? This section here it allows us to actually scrape in our competitors. So what I mean by that is if I just delete two of these pages and if I head over to Google, so let's say, for example, we'll do an article on how to do link building outreach, right? So we've got this brilliant article by SEMrush. All we're going to do is we're just going to copy this in here. We're going to paste in the URL to here, right? And then this sheet, what it's going to do is it's going to give us all of the H2s and the subheading. So for example, if we copy the skyscraper technique, what we'll find is that it is a H3 on the page here, right? You may want to do this for like maybe two of your competitors or maybe even more. So we could even uh, copy and paste in um, Ahrefs blog as well. So as you can see here, we've actually got all the H2s from uh, the Ahrefs blog as well. So um, how to do outreach, find prospects is one of the subheadings. And as you can see here, you've got it, find prospects. So what we then want to do is the prompt is actually built into this sheet. Um, but if we actually just copy all of this, head over to ChatGBT, we're going to paste this in here. But if you're just going to use the article builder as is, that's fine. 
we're going to take this one step further, right? So if you go to the fourth tab, you're going to have two extra prompts. I'm going to actually paste in the second prompt in just a second. Um, but here is the additional prompt. So YouTube video prompt, um, we'll actually call this YouTube video prompt subheadings, right? Um, and it's going to say, here is a video talking about the same subject. Can you extract subheadings from this video transcript? And we're just going to paste this all the way at the bottom. And we're going to find a video talking about outreach um, on YouTube. So we're going to do outreach link building. Uh, we will copy, let's do, let's do the do, 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 link building, how to get um, links every single month, right? We're going to copy this. Um, now, the actual transcript for videos, if you guys haven't ever done this, if you click on more, then click on show transcript here. And then, uh, where is it? Show transcript. One second. Ah, there it is there. It's on the right hand side. Um, so just so you guys see that transcript and it's got all, all the actual seconds and stuff. We're just going to copy all of this um, all the way down to the bottom. And we're just going to copy this and then paste this into here. Right, so we're 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 actually adding in a little bit more uniqueness, um, and then this is going to basically go ahead and do all of um, the hard work for us. So as you can see, it's um, combining the Semrush article, the Ahrefs article, and the Brian Dean was it or Nathan Gotch Brian Dean video as well into one. Um, massive like um monster article right so you've got for example on the left hand side um let me just see which one that i would pick so you've got introduction to link building outreach preparing for outreach um you've got all the strategy so the skyscraper technique the moving man technique guest posting journalism sourcing platforms digital pr and da -da 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 -da. additional outreach platforms and tools I think I'm gonna go with um, this one. Um, to be fair, both of them were pretty decent. Now, what you then want to do is just copy all of this, go back into our article builder, and as you can see, we've got an actual subheading section here. Um, we're gonna add in all of our H2s. We're gonna uh, we're gonna also pick um, what the H1 is. So we're gonna do link building. Outreach. <clears throat> We're also going to do the scope of the article. So, is it going to be a service or is it going to be informational? This is going to be more informational. Um, click through to related prologues. That's what I want them to to do. And with the tonality, I also want informative. You then also have got sources here. Um, now, with the sources, we can obviously add in like Wikipedia. Um, so we can do Wikipedia or um, link building. Right, um, we can then find or link building. If we go down, where is the Wikipedia page for link building? Let me just pause the video for a second and find that. Here it is here. So you've got the, the Wikipedia page for backlink and we're just going to paste that into our sources here. Now, you could also add in the video transcript here um, and then take certain tonalities and stuff, but we're just going to keep it as is because <clears throat> we've already kind of got all the subheadings that the video would have spoke about. Then we're just going to go down here. We're going to paste this in here, and then this will give us an entire article that's all factually um, relevant. Um, it's also got free data sources. It's got two of our competitors and also one video source as well. Um, and basically, this is this is like really informative article. So it's talking about all the different techniques here. Um, it's talking about like what is link building outreach, um, how link building outreach works, um, how to actually conduct a gap analysis. I've done tons of videos on on doing a gap analysis. So. I'm looking at this from an SEO's point of view. This is actually a pretty decent, way, well laid out article. Um, let's see, effective link building methods, the skyscraper technique. So it's talking about different techniques, the moving man technique, um, 
locate outdated content. So doing like broken link building, for example, um, guest posting, promoting your content, request a guest post, etc. Link building outreach tactics. So it's talking about like how to do prospecting, um, sending personalized pitches. If I was doing a video, a lot of this stuff I would probably include in a video to, if I was going to do like an outreach video. So it's pretty bang on. Um, it's also got like some FAQs and some final thoughts as well. Verifying the email address. Ensure your emails reach the intended recipients by verifying by verifying by verifying contact details before sending. I actually done a video on this. As of recording this, I done a video on this literally two days ago, and this was literally one of the actual steps. So it's good that it's actually mentioning stuff like this. Like I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's pretty bang on. Um, Popular tools include Buzzstream for managing outreach and Hunter.io. Yep, that's the exact tool that I used yesterday for for um, doing outreach. Remember to bookmark this article, share it with your network, and explore our, our related resources for more insights and effective link building strategies. Yeah, this is a pretty decent article. Um, I mean, the last step that you can obviously do is just copy all of this. And obviously, either use tools like either Hemingway Editor, um, or what you could also do as well is that there is Grammarly um, Check as well. You can use the free Grammar Check, um, and it will obviously do do its thing. You might just need to log in. Oh, actually, no, you don't. Um, so it's going to give you a few different suggest suggestions. Um, we can obviously just accept all of them and update all. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw that. Before I even touched any of the content, it was overall 90 score. So it's pretty decent from the word go. Um, the, the, the article builder, like the prompts that I've actually used inside that, it's, it's pretty decent prompts. So, I mean, if you guys haven't, just download it. It's completely free to use. Um, but it should give you like a really good um, article, and it's it's also based off of like the length and stuff like that of other articles and stuff. Um, but once you've obviously run it through Grammarly, we can also run it through Hemingway Editor as well. I don't know if you guys have ever used this, um, but this basically gives you like um, a readability score. Um, so the grade to 10, which is pretty decent from the word go. Um, I remember when I was actually using like actual um, content writers and stuff. In some cases, the, the actual content was like 14 and stuff, the grade. Um, so for a grade 10, like is pretty decent from, from like the word, from basically just using AI. Now, what you can obviously do is you can obviously make your sentences shorter Um like for example it actually tells us like which sentences it thinks that are too long so you can add in like commas you can add in um full stops etc um 16 out of 144 sentences are too hard um, 11 are weakeners as well so you can obviously tr go through and fix all of that but i mean a grade 10 out of the box it's pretty decent um but that has been how you can obviously improvise with using YouTube video content as well for your co for your actual content. You could also, um, just as a added bonus, you could actually copy this this video transcript and say, "Now implement uh, some wording from this video." And obviously, you can give it that transcript, and it's going to combine your SEO article with that video. Um, in some cases, the one thing that I would watch out for if you are going to go down that route is obviously if they mention their own brand, um, and if you're actually going to be publishing this to your own brand, just make certain that there's no overlap. Um, but it's going to give out, it's going to spit out a fairly decent article. It's, it's going to have the exact same subheadings, but it might actually explain things in a nicer tonality um and an easier way to actually um understand as well so yeah let's just wait for this to actually finish i wonder if this is going to actually give us a better Hemingway editor score um my guess is it's, it's probably going to be about the same um let's see let's just copy this 
Still going. It's a big article. I mean, it's 1,500 words, I believe. Um, let's go back to Hemingway Editor, paste this in. So it's still a grade 10. Um, it's not really changed much. It has obviously added in a couple hundred extra more um, words. Um, but that is also another strategy that you can go down, um, combining like video content with your actual pre-existing blog. Because you might have said or explained something in your blog a different way as opposed to how you've written it as well. So just bear that in mind. But that's been my way of how you can turn videos into actual blog content and actually um, source check it um, via like Wikipedia and stuff. If you guys haven't, make certain to check out the article builder. It's completely free to use. Um, and as always, please remember to leave a like. And if you want a growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casual-.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form and I will um, get back to you. Thanks.